Georgia versus Alabama. If I had to predict right now, like I said, I'd probably take Alabama. And I know a lot of Georgia fans are going to hate me for that. But, and here's one right now. Georgia's going to beat Alabama. A lot's got to happen. How are, how are we going to beat Alabama? It's going to come down to, to Stetson Bennett offensively. If he can control the game well, and I know that's game managing, okay, I get it. But if he can control the game well and not force the ball down the field for no reason, I think we'll be okay uh, offensively. If you see the play calling from Todd Munkin, he does really, really well uh, with with getting the ball, spreading it out. Like I said, Brock Bowers is going to have to have a good game. Uh, I keep I keep hearing George Pickens' name. I mean, he he hasn't really been targeted or on the field as much. Uh, this year. So, I mean, even, even in these past three games, so I'm not really too worried about that, but our running backs are going to have to have a really good game. Our running backs today had like over 150 yards passing or passing uh, receiving. My goodness. Uh, especially with James cook. He's that H back type of running back or an H back, not really running back, but uh, you know what I mean? He's going to have to have a really good game. He's had really solid uh, games against Alabama in the past, especially last year. He had a nice 80, 90-yard touchdown reception. But, yeah, and defensively, that front seven is going to have to own that Alabama offensive line. Watching Cincinnati. Cincinnati was able to control what they could. They are not the most talented team in the country, obviously. They were obviously outmatched. But watching that front seven, I thought Cincinnati's front seven did a really good job in the uh, in the past defense game. Obviously, they did terrible uh, against the rush, but that comes down to talent. OK, from the scheming, from scheming from Luke Fickle's uh, defensive coordinator, they did a really, really good job in, in past defense. They only gave up 150 yards passing. Uh a lot of that comes down to the rush, but that's what Georgia has to replicate. Uh, not the rushing yards, obviously, um, but the pass defense, okay, and getting to the quarterback. Bryce Young was sacked like once today, maybe twice, um, but that's one more or two more times than what Georgia was able to do, okay? That's what Georgia needs, and Bryce Young forced some passes that he shouldn't have, and he threw a terrible interception. That's what Georgia needs. Uh, in order to beat Alabama, they need their offensive line to play a little bit better than last time, probably a lot bit better. Uh, but they need their defensive line, linebackers, uh, to to step up big time. And I think I, I think Georgia has a good shot. Uh, and Georgia finally wins this game at 11 p.m. Eastern time, 34 to to 11 against Michigan. And that's pretty much it. But I give Georgia a shot against Alabama. I would hate to be that guy, but. I got to go Nick Saban. I just don't like Kirby Smart's um, scheming against Nick Saban. I just, I've been watching it, especially the past two times, man. The past two times, uh, the, the score has been replicated the same. It's 41 24, but the past two times, the defensive scheme has kind of been questionable. Um, Hasn't been been getting to the QB as well. Uh, and then the offense, we've had, you know, Stetson Bennett turn the ball over. If Stetson Bennett doesn't turn the ball over and Georgia is able to get to um is able to get to Bryce Young, I think Georgia can win the game. Okay. That's that's gonna be the difference in the game, obviously. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm I'm gonna about I'm about to get out of here. Um, guys. Let me read some more uh, some more comments for you. The SEC has looked horrible, other than these two teams. Facts: the SEC has looked di di disappointing. And I, and you know, I've been high on Texas A&M all year, and I just feel like this. I feel like they really, really, really should have forfeited, and they should have a loss to, to Wake Forest. Even though I know Wake Forest did get an opponent, and Texas A&M is lucky. But UCLA, uh, uh, I'm sorry, NC State should have got a win too, which made no sense. But the SEC was one and five before today in bowl games. South Carolina put a beating on North Carolina. I mean, the bowl game has just the bowl games have been weird uh, this year for the games that have been played. Uh, but anyway, uh, GG UGA, shout out to this Michigan fan. Sorry, I didn't go your way uh, today. Uh, you, Michigan had a really, really, really good season. I mean, let's just talk about Michigan, what they were able to accomplish this year before I get off of here. Uh, they were able to beat Ohio State. They were able to beat the Big Ten. But they were proje pro projected to be fourth, or some even some sites had them even fifth in the Big Ten East. Fifth. I had, I had Michigan, I think, tied for second. 
Uh, I obviously had Ohio State beating them, but they were able to beat Ohio State. But they were only projected to be at, what, eight wins this year? They go ahead and make the college football playoff. Shout out to Jim Harbaugh. I love Jim Harbaugh. I know a lot, I know a lot of Michigan fans were frustrated with him. Hopefully you're not anymore. Um, but it is what it is. You guys had a you guys had a really good season. You have nothing to be uh, ashamed of. It's cold. It's uh, academic. Unless you're prepared to go all in for football, winning the Big Ten is our ceiling. <sighs> you know, Michigan fans, I understand what you're saying. You got a you got a star in the making, and JJ McCaffrey, uh, McCaffrey. I said McCaffrey. Yeah, McCarthy. Goodness, I've been following JJ McCarthy for a long time, and I and I really messed up his name. Anyway, JJ McCarthy is QB one. He is going to be a star for Michigan. I'm telling you right now, he has a lot of potential. He's going to be, uh, he is going to be very, very, very good for you guys in the next coming years. He should, he should be, uh, he should be QB one. But anyway. Uh, <sighs> I'm reading through these comments. But anyway, guys, Georgia versus Alabama in the national title, 2022 national title. Look at Stetson Bennett out here having the game of his life um, and and, sh and shutting down all these all these haters. And he did it against a top five defense, by the way. Or, well, Michigan was uh, – okay, let me rephrase that. He did it against a top ten defense, okay, something that no one said he could do. And he goes out and throws for 310 yards, three touchdowns, rushes for 32 yards, and and, and comes home with a 34 to 11 W against Michigan. Uh, but anyway, guys, Georgia fans, we're off to Indy as we take on Alabama in the national title.